What the hell are you up to? <laughs> oh, I'd say at least several hundred feet with any luck. See ya! What the hell? Hey! Hey! <laughs> Bye, catch you later! Damn it! Listen here! You can run all you want, but you can't hide forever! No, oh, I knew it! I knew you were alive! <laughs> nobody understands you the way I do, Lupin! Not nobody! After Arsene Lupin III seemingly is hung, an unconvinced Inspector Koichi Zenigata researches the body of his greatest foe, only to find Lupin is mysteriously returned, escape the Inspector's clutches again, and with the help of Daisuke Jigen and Goemon Ishikawa XIII, seals a gem from an Egyptian pyramid to give to the object of his affection, Fujiko Mine. The trio learn that Fujiko is, in fact, working for a secret man named Mamo, who has much greater ambitions than simply expensive tools. So, Secret of Mamo is a bit of a head-scratcher when trying to pin it down, almost infamously so. With what starts as a simple thieving story like any other you would expect from the series, it slowly becomes something like out of a rejected Gene Roddenberry plot. I love Lupin the Third. It's honestly one of my favorite anime series. And one of the things I love about it is how versatile the series can be, ranging from the wholesome Miyazaki-directed Castle of Cagliostro to the noir-esque experimental Yamamoto-directed The Woman Called Fujiko Mine. So for me, I tend to go into these with the mindset that it will either be very adventurous or very strange. Mamo is a bit of both. That both gives it personality and can hinder it a bit. I will say one thing that helps it is that it stays tonally consistent throughout the picture. It's never meant to be taken too dramatically, staying lighthearted and fun even in the more psychedelic moments. It keeps the viewer from getting too much whiplash as Mamo's plans become realized. Two things are at the forefront of the plot, Mamo's plans and Lupin's relationship with Fujiko. Most of the moments that advance the plot revolve around the will they or won't they playfulness. The third act of the film is when things start to become truly strange, as we learn who and what Mamo is. It was certainly one of the most ambitious Lupin projects, so that does give it a few rough edges. But without it, we probably wouldn't have the Lupin series we have now, had it not been from Mystery of Mamo. It's a bit tough to answer. This is one of those types of Lupin movies that is directly connected to a particular Lupin series, which makes it harder to jump in on for newcomers than, say, the TV movies, Crisis in Tokyo or Miss by a Dollar as examples. If you're a Lupin fan, you probably know what you're getting into. If this is your first Lupin experience, you should probably stop and not let this be your first Lupin experience. The Mystery of Mamo, Lupin the Third, is currently not available for purchase, but other Lupin the Third entries are available from Discotech, and they can be found here and here. Stay classic. <laughs>